a crossover between Hellboy and Spawn. Hey, you know, I'm in, sign me up. You got iconic characters from Dark Horse Comics and Image Comics, respectively. This will offer a thrilling opportunity for storytelling that merges two richly developed universes. While they operate in distinct universes, you know, a crossover can be more than mere fan service. It can be a narrative exploration of themes like redemption, the battle between good and evil, and the complexity of heroism. Here are three compelling plot ideas for a Hellboy and Spawn crossover. Number one, the convergence of destinies. In the world where the veil between the living and the dead thins, Hellboy and Spawn, guardians of their respective realms, find their destinies intertwined in a battle against an ancient evil that threatens both the earthly and the infernal planes. Damn, ChatGPT, you didn't have to go all out on that, but here we go, let's go with the plot summary. So Hellboy and Spawn, they're drawn together when a supernatural disturbance occurs simultaneously in the worlds. They discover an ancient artifact that has the power to merge realms, controlled by an ancient demonic entity seeking to rule all dimensions. Yo man, this screams Omega Spawn, what do you guys think about that? So the duel must navigate their differences and unite their strengths to prevent the collapse of their worlds. Now this story will delve into their personal struggles as Hellboy grapples with his demonic heritage and Spawn with his cursed existence, leading to a climactic battle that resonates with themes of identity and sacrifice. Number two, the Mirror of Souls. In a twist to churn of fate, Hellboy and Spawn are forced to confront the darkest aspects of their bees, mirrored in an otherworldly entity that thrives on chaos and despair. So the story begins with Hellboy and Spawn encountering a mysterious mirror that reflects and amplifies their inner turmoil and fears. Creating physical manifestations of their darkest selves, they must confront and overcome these manifestations to destroy the mirror. I know, we just gotta use a mirror here, I gotta get creative here. But the thing is, the journey is not only physical, but also an introspective battle. We gotta add some depth to this here. And because of this introspective battle, it compels them to face their internal demons. This plot allows for deep character development and explores themes of self-acceptance and the duality of their natures. Now, before I go into the third and final plot, don't forget to check out RatedComics.com for some really cool, limited print, Rated Comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection and other comics as well. Support the art, support the industry. Now, let's get back into the content. Number three, the Armageddon Clock. As the Armageddon Clock ticks towards midnight, Hellboy and Spawn are reluctantly thrown together in a race against time to thwart a prophecy that could spell the end of both of their worlds. So this prophecy foretells the end of the world, triggered by a series of mystical events that Hellboy and Spawn begin to witness. They realize their fates are interconnected in this prophecy, which involves ancient deities from both their universes. The story combines action, suspense, and mysticism as they traverse different realms, gather allies, and decipher cryptic clues. Hey, if you can incorporate the Scorch with this, like kind of like a Hellspawn Avengers with this storyline, I think that'd be pretty cool. It also emphasizes the theme of destiny, questioning whether one can truly escape their preordained fate. Now, each of these plots right here, they offer a blend of action, mystery, and character-driven storytelling, which we all crave. I believe these plots will respect the lore of both characters while presenting new challenges that require them both to grow and adapt. Now, I believe the ending of these plots is enough for you guys to speculate and add your own ideas and flair to it. So, what'd you guys think of the video? Comment below, let me know. Lastly, this video is sponsored by coffee. So, if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.